Ali. I'm a research scientist at DeepMind. This is our work on a generalized framework for population-based training. And this is a joint work among DeepMind Mountain View, Google Brain Pittsburgh, and DeepMind London. Deep learning has been an emerging technique in modern artificial intelligence. A good deep learning model often requires a large amount of training data, a considerable amount of computation resource, and a well-curated neural network architecture. Now you may ask, is that everything we need to train a good model? And the answer is no. There is an important missing piece here, which is called hyperparameter tuning. A typical deep learning life cycle treats model training and hyperparameter tuning as separate procedures, which could be lengthy and computationally expensive. Our team focuses on a new type of model training approach, which unifies the two procedures into one. It is called population-based training, or PPT. This PPT approach can discover a dynamic schedule of the hyperparameters and train the neural networks at the same time. Suppose you have n workers, and every worker starts by sample a set of hyperparameters and then train the model with the corresponding hyperparameters for a few steps. We call this the first generation. Please notice at this point, none of the models is converged but the PBT algorithm is going to intervene the training process to continue to the next generation. At the end of the first generation, we have obtained n different models from different workers. And for every worker, we sample another worker and compare the performance of their models, and we call this process binary tournament. So in this case, the model on the right corresponding to the worker n performs better so it becomes the winner of this competition. For the next generation, those workers who have lost in a competition will discard their model and hyperparameters. The worker who lost will copy the model weights from the winner's worker and also use the mutated version of the winner's hyperparameter as a new set of hyperparameters for the next generation. And all of the workers will resume training using the new hyperparameters and new model weights. The binary tournament and mutation process are repeated from generation to generation until the convergence of the whole population. Sequential search has been a very popular hyperparameter search method which changes hyperparameters sequentially after every long training session. And parallel search is another popular method, which only samples the hyperparameters at the beginning and does not change them at all during the whole training procedure. PPT is a hybrid approach that combines the benefits from the two and explores a much larger area of the hyperparameter search space. Google is a company with over a hundred products. Many of them involve developing deep learning models. These products can be used in very different neural architectures and infrastructures for different purposes. And those models are being trained on millions of machines at Google's data center. So our biggest challenge here is how to really scale PPT to serve such wide range of production teams at Google. Together with the Google Vizier team, we develop a new system that runs population-based training as a standalone black box service. We generalize the population-based training algorithm into a genetic programming framework, which is implemented as part of the PPT service. All of the training jobs in different production teams talk to the same PPT service, and the service sends selection and mutation decisions to each job separately. We performed a case study of our PBT service on a text-to-speech model called WaveMap, which synthesizes human voice from a given textual input. We compare PBT with several popular tuning methods. The study shows several benefits of our PBT system. It achieves faster conversions, ability to discover dynamic schedules of the hyperparameters, reduce total computation, linearly scalable, and since it is a black box solution, it does not require any intervention to the construction of the model graph. 